Welcome to What's New Andrew. In this video, I'm gonna walk you through how to set up Kia DHCP, which is the replacement for the end of life ISC DHCP server on OpenSense. Now ISC DHCP went uh, end of life in around 2022. And since it's end of life, I typically like to go ahead and move on to, uh, to a, a more stable uh, code base once things go end of life. So in this case, I went ahead and moved to uh, Kia DHCP and I'm gonna walk you through how to do that here. It's really actually pretty simple once you get things set up. And I'm gonna have another video later on how to uh, set up VLANs within Kia, Kia DHCP as well. So let's go ahead and walk through how to do this. If you go to your, uh, your lobby dashboard, you'll see that you have something uh, similar to this with DHCP v4 server. You may be using v6 as well. Um, so I have uh, v4 running on this server. You, it may also be prefixed with ISC, but that's the default DHCP server that, uh, that uh, OpenSense starts up with. We're gonna replace that so that in the end, we're just gonna have Kia DHCP uh, running here. So to do that, first thing you wanna do is go ahead and look at your interfaces. If you look at mine, I have a WAN interface and a LAN interface. And if you look down at the bottom, whatever you've set up as your uh, IP address pool, your, your subnet, you're gonna have that listed here with uh, whatever your, your CIDR notation is. In this case, I have a slash 24 network. So we're gonna use this right here and we're gonna uh, replicate this uh, within our um, Kia DHCP. Now, if you wanna change this, you can go ahead and change it here but you'll have to use the same thing when we get to Kia DHCP. So we'll go down to services and within services, you're gonna go ahead and already see Kia DHCP set up. It's already there and, and installed. If we look at our original one, which is the ISC version, you're gonna see your interface there, which is a uh, LAN. So if we click on it, you're gonna see whatever your DHCP pool is. In my case, it's from 100 to 200 of that same subnet. And if you scroll down at the bottom, you're gonna see any reserved IP addresses that you might have. I don't have any right now, so uh, you may have some. You'll just need to move those over and I'll show you how to do that as well. So let's go into Kia DHCP and set things up. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna look at the control agent. I'm not gonna run that. That's if you're gonna be using some APIs and things like that to control DHCP. That's a little bit beyond this video. So if you want to do that, uh, you can take a look at that, but you don't need that in uh, the initial setup. We're gonna move over to the Kia DHCP v4. Now, if you're using v6, the instructions are very similar. You're just obviously gonna be using uh, v6 IP addresses. So let's go ahead and start things out. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna select the uh, interface. If you have more than one, you can go ahead and select all the ones that uh, you wanna have this working on. In my case, I just have one uh, internal interface called LAN. So I'm gonna select that. And then I'm gonna go ahead and go to, uh, go ahead and go to apply. So we aren't gonna enable it quite yet though. So we'll go to subnets and this is where we're gonna set up our subnets. So you would set up one subnet for each of the interfaces that uh, you have. In my case, I just have one, it's my LAN. So we're gonna go over here, hit the plus. We're gonna set the subnet. And if you remember, we had 192.168.1.1. So it needs to match whatever in your, um, your interface assignment. And it's a slash 24 network for mine. The description is gonna be simply LAN, in this case, not lab or LAM. Uh, and then my IP address pool, if you remember, we had it dot .100, and then I'm gonna do a space dash space, and then we went to dot .200. So you can set it up to whatever makes sense for your, your, um, your network. The next thing you wanna do is you wanna uncheck this box here. So we're actually gonna use, in this case, uh, I like to use MAC addresses as the, the way to set up static IP addresses. So if you have machines that you need to have a static IP address, unchecking this will use the MAC address instead of the client ID for, uh, for default. The rest of these we're not gonna change. They're, they're good for, for what we're doing here. So we're gonna hit save here. And if you look, now you've got your subnet set up the description of it and what the, the pool is that you're gonna be using. Now you can get kind of fancy and add different uh, IP pools, but we're just gonna use this for right now. We'll hit apply to make sure we save those changes. And now we're gonna go back to settings and enable. So now that we've got it all set up, we're ready to uh, enable the service. So we'll enable it and hit apply. And now we'll go to the lobby and look at the dashboard. And you'll see that you have the DHCP uh, server which we originally had as well the key as the Kia DHCP now yours may have a red block like this it may be stopped and that's okay uh, sometimes if you have multiple uh, DHCP servers running 
you start them up, they kind of get into a, an issue where typically ISC works first and then Kia can't start up. So if you ever get into this and you're, you're migrating from uh, ISC to Kia, if you still have both of them running for, for a little bit, go ahead and stop the uh, DHCP server, the original one, start up Kia, and then start back up the, the ISC. And that way it'll, it'll kind of fix that issue. So what I found is, so if you've migrated some of your subnets to Kia and not the other ones, that's a, a way to, uh, to deal with that. So let's go back over then, now that we've got both of those DHCP servers running, and we're gonna go over to uh, ISC DHCP, which is our original one that we're migrating from. And we're gonna say, uh, uncheck enable this server. So now what we've done is when we scroll down, once you do that for all of the, the subnets that you have, for all of the different um, subnets on your system, when you go back to the lobby dashboard like this, you're no longer gonna see it on there. So the only one that we've got is Kia DHCP server. So if we go to a command line and I type IP config slash renew, it should go out and get us a new IP address uh, based on the DHCP server that we've set up. So if we look here, we've now see that we've got uh, 192.168.1.100 for the IP address. So that's the first one in that pool that we set up which is what we would expect. So if you have other uh, um, machines, as they start to come online, they're gonna start grabbing IP addresses from that pool. But what if you wanna have a static IP address? To do that, I'm gonna grab the MAC address of this machine, and we're gonna go back over to our services and down to Kia DHCP. And we'll go into here, and if you remember, we were just here on subnets, where we added the subnet that uh, we did for the LAN. We're now gonna go over to reservations. And in here, we'll hit add. And in this drop down list, you're gonna have a list of all the subnets you've set up. So instead of going like in uh, ISC DHCP where you had to go through all the different interfaces, everything is gonna be selectable from this list, which makes it kind of nice. So we're gonna go ahead, since we're doing that, we're going to actually put in the IP address. We wanna do 192.168.1.42. Uh, all right, and the MAC address, we'll go ahead and put that in there. And then the host name, we'll call it What's New Andrew. And we won't do a description or we'll just actually do the same thing as the description. So we'll save that and hit apply. And now when you go in uh, with this machine, it should grab this IP address since it's uh, set up for a static IP address. So let's go ahead and do that again. We're gonna renew our IP address again. Actually, we're gonna release it first. and then we will renew it. If we look at it here, we've now grabbed the .42 address, which is exactly what we set up here in the, uh, the static IP address mapping. So you can do this for all your machines. Just make sure that when you're setting up that subnet, again, over here, that you uncheck this for each of your subnets because you want to make sure you're using MAC address versus the, the match client ID. Um, that way it'll, it'll all work for you. Otherwise, you're going to have to uh, make sure your client IDs are all set up. So it's a lot easier to use MAC, uh, MAC address. So there you go. Now you've migrated from ISC DHCP, which went end of life back in 2022, over to the new modern Kia DHCP server. If you need to move any of those uh, IP addresses that you had for static mappings, just go ahead and copy them over. It can be kind of tedious, but the good thing is that you might start to find, like I did, a lot of servers that you no longer uh, need. So it's a great way to kind of clean up some of the, the settings that you have. So I hope you liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you have questions or run into issues, drop them down in the comments section below, and I'll see you in the next video.